Kia ora. welcome to Edge Learning. In this video we're going to have a look at the news feed in Edge. In the results sheets, when you are marking your progressions and then save, it will now ask you if you want to create a news feed post. So I can say yes, I can select who it's going to, I can choose all students, or I can just choose the particular one that I've been working on at the moment. I can choose the particular column that I'm working on, or I can just do all columns. It's viewable by the caregivers, viewable by the students. I can set when that display is going to start and end. I can include the evidence. There's an automatic post title, which is reasonable. You can change it if you wish. And you can put some extra comments there in the post if you wish to. And then create the post. It's also possible to create the post just in the result sheet up the top by going create post. If you're in the teacher mode, then that news feed will be viewable by just clicking on news feed and updating. If you're in the admin view, then under achievement, you have the result sheets and under people you in community, you have the news feed. On the parent portal, there is now a news feed showing there. From anywhere in the teacher home screen, be that the result sheets or attendance, you can click on Create New over to the left, come down to Create Newsfeed Posts or to Manage Newsfeed Posts. For those with the admin rights, this is available under People, Community, and then going into Communications. In the Communications, you get that same Create New, and you can create new newsfeed posts or manage newsfeed posts. Let's have a look at creating one. So we can come in here, set the post title, set start and end date. The post type can be text, it can be an image, or it can be a video. If it's a video, then it wants us to paste in a YouTube video. So in my YouTube video, I go share, and then I go to embed, and I copy that, go back to edge, and paste that in there. And then I just put a bit of a comment in there, and then specify who that's going to. So it can go to the whole school, or I can select an individual student to post that video for, and then go create, and that's posted successfully. The other part that I said we can do is under that create new, we can come down to manage newsfeed posts, and then we can see all the posts, and we can edit them or delete them if we want to. And here's our videos in there that can be played, and the rest of the newsfeed. I hope that's useful. Thanks for your time. Ka kite.